And we're less than five months away from what would be the normal start of the college football season, a season that's looking more and more questionable. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough takes a look at the financial consequences we could see as a result. There's no question about it. Alabama football is one of the major arteries of Tuscaloosa's economy, an artery that's now in serious jeopardy if the season is delayed or canceled altogether. It would be huge. We've never experienced anything like that uh, since, uh, since all the football games have been played uh, in Tuscaloosa. Jim Page, president of the West Alabama Chamber of Commerce, says an average football game generates an economic impact of around $20 million each weekend. Rivalry games often generate more. He says the entire season typically results in a $175 million economic impact for Tuscaloosa. The amount of people that uh, come into our community, stay in our hotels, eat in our restaurants, shop in stores, um, it's got a huge uh, impact on all aspects of our economy. And while it's too early to say for sure how the upcoming football season will play out, Page says not having one at all would be detrimental to the city's future. As hard as times are right now for so many of our businesses, especially in the retail and hospitality sectors, uh, this is nothing compared uh, to what would happen if we were to have any type of, of shutdown in the fall or to lose football season. Uh, and there's no way to sugarcoat that. It would be absolutely devastating uh, to our local economy. And I reached out to the Southeastern Conference here in Birmingham for an update on the plans for this next football season. I'll let you know when I hear back. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.